one of the things that uh, always astonished me is how we leave this incredible potential of young women aside. And I don't know where this is coming from. Um, it definitely is part of the education and how we were raised. My mother was raised in a completely different environment than we uh, hopefully raised our daughters. And uh, luckily, I see that this is slowly bearing fruit and women are entering fields where we haven't seen them before. Again, this is an example where I wish it would go faster, but it will continue. And it would be so interesting to see how it is, not in one, but in two generations. I am convinced that the presence of men in space will be a key asset uh, for our future. And it would be a shame if we would deprive our young generation from a tool that we have at our fingertips to respond to challenges that will come. And they will, our task is to give them a broad toolkit and not a narrow toolkit. Therefore, my wish to the young generation is think in possibilities. Working together is in itself uh, something positive. It doesn't mean that it is easy. It doesn't mean that you have not a conflict of interest. And of course, it, it's at times more difficult than in others. That is, that is the nature of working together. And things might go slower than you think because you have to find the proper balance between the different interests and that takes discussion and try to understand the other side and it takes time. Now once you have come to an agreement uh, and uh, go forward you can be sure that you can rely on what you have agreed to and this is for instance what we have seen uh, in the International Space Station really as a role model. This is why I am grateful for this project and I personally am grateful that I had been able to participate in its initial stages. As a matter of fact, uh, I was Capcom, the person on console when we brought back Bill Shepard, uh, Gizenko and uh, Sergei Krikalev from Russia, the first crew that manned the space station. Well, in every field where you work together, you can learn that you don't have to go to space in order to learn that, first of all, we know it. Uh, but it is a field where we practice. There's a difference between knowing something and then actually able to do it. Everyone who has once learned in school uh, to solve a complicated mathematical equation may 20 years later still know how it goes, but if you put the equation in front of him or her and she has to do it in reality or he has to do it in reality, things may look a little bit shaky and different and one has to relearn it again. We know what we should do and uh, often enough I regret we don't do it and we just need to e open the newspaper to see, uh, to find situations. And in this sense, uh, space and working together in space so far has been a remarkable example where people, despite the fact that in other areas they did not work together, still continued to work together. One thing about working together in an international environment and that space is not uh, needed for that, but it was the field in which I worked, was when we in our crew worked together. And we were three nations, the United States, Japan and myself. And uh, we learned Initially, during our training flow, things are being explained, the question is asked, everything understood? And we said, uh, yes, any questions? No, everything clear. Now, Mamoru never said no. 
And we realized when we continued to work that there, were st there was still an issue unclear. And uh, we asked him, uh, Mamoru, is that all clear or how are, uh, how are things? Can we continue? And, it, and he, uh, he explained to us, if the question is, is everything clear and you, and he would say no, that in turn would mean it's an insult to you that you were not able to explain something to him. So it is in his culture to not say no. And once we learned that, we realized how we have to deal with each other and how we understood his answers. Of course, we were told that up front. We had classes on how to work together with different cultures. Um, I was at that time working at NASA and had to undergo the same uh, training uh, as my American colleagues. And we were briefed about the Russian culture and what is different in Russia, what it was easier for us to understand because we are Europeans. So that is uh, something that we, um, we understand maybe more easier than uh, uh, a person who has never, in con has never been in contact with that culture. And, but knowing things or thinking to understand things and then putting them to work and really practice them are two different things. And the value in, that I saw for me in the field I was working in uh, was I had the privilege to really practice these things on numerous occasions.